Hello friends, today I am going to solve lead code problem number 49 group anagrams. In this problem, we are given an array of strings and um, we need to group the anagrams in those strings together. So what is an anagram actually? An anagram is a word or phrase formed by rearranging the letter of another word or phrase. So let's see what an anagram means. So if we have a word apple, so we have a word apple then the anagram of this word would be um, anything after rearranging the letters so if we rearrange this like p l e oops p l e a p so we still have all the letters from the word apple right we have a we have P, we have P, we have L, and we have E. So we have all of the letters from the word apple. And then we formed a new word. This word doesn't make any sense. That is, it doesn't have any meaning. But still, it's a new word from, formed by rearranging new words from the apple. So that is why this is an anagram of apple. So basically, it is a combination of uh like rearranging a combination of all the words taken together so that is what anagram means so for the word eat let's take this word and find out what could be the anagrams of this word so if we rearrange this word um let's suppose a so we arrange this word as a t e so this is one anagram of this word eat the another anagram could be um t t e a t another anagram could be a e t and so on so this is how we could form the anagrams of this word it so um if you look at this example here then it and t are anagrams so these two will be grouped together is 10 an anagram of it well not because it doesn't have the word e here right it has a character n but it has a character e so tan is not an anagram of it that means that tan is not an anagram of t as well so it and t is grouped together okay so all right it and t will be grouped together and tan will form a new group and then next word it so it is also an anagram of it so it is also an anagram of t as well so these will form one group and then the next word nat so nat is an anagram of tan so these two words will group together and the next word is bat and since bat is not an anagram of it neither an anagram of tan so that will form a new group on itself so this is how we are going to group all of these words um, into a group of anagrams now we need to find a way to solve this problem so how could we solve this problem well one way is that we sort all of the characters in this word so when we sort the word eat we would get a e and t and then when we sort the word t we would get a e t only right so since we are getting the same word we could just compare these two words and see if these two words are equal or not if they are equal then they are anagram if not then they will not be an anagram so let's see what would the time complexity of this solution would be in order to sort a sort um, it takes um, if the length of the string is m then the time complexity would be m log of m right for sorting and if there are n number of strings then we would have to do it for each of the strings so that would be m n log of m time complexity so that is huge right that's a huge time complexity so can we do it in a uh, less time complexity um let's think about that so 
so yes we could do that in less time complexity and how we are going to do that is by creating a key for each of the words we are going to create a key so um let's take this example again and see how could we approach this problem in a more optimal way so for this uh, we will count the frequency of all the characters in this word so we take the word eat and how many characters do we have in english alphabet and uh, let's look at the constraints the, the constraint says that the string consists of only lowercase english letters right so that would mean that there are only 26 characters um, forming the string so what we'll do is for each of the 26 characters we are going to find the frequency of occurrence in each of the words so for this word we have the occurrence for um, character e equals to one character a equals to one and character t equals to one so now what are we going to do is we are going to form a key starting from the frequency of a and um, ending at frequency of c so the frequency of a in this case is equals to one so we uh, we append a hash and then we append the frequency of one and then we take a hash and then we append the frequency of p which is equals to zero and we continue um, until we reach the end so for e we will append the frequency of one and then hash and then we'll append the frequency of f and so on and then we also append do the same with t and then finally we'll append the frequency of z which is equals to zero so this will be the key and this key will store in the map so what are we going to do is we create a map and this will be the key to our group of anagram so using this key in our map we are going to find our group so uh, what will happen is it will have the same key and t will also have the same key so once both of them are have the same key so this key will map to the value that will have an array which consists of uh, strings eat string t and the string eight so all of these anagrams will be grouped in this array with the key value equals to this and we'll do the same thing with uh, other uh, words as well and group them together and then finally we'll use the value in our map to form our final result and uh, return that result so now that we understand this problem let's try to code it but before that yeah let's look at the time complexity of this solution so what will be the time complexity in order to create this key we need to find the frequency of all the 26 characters in each of these words right so 26 characters which means that first of all we need need to uh, loop over each of the word right so that would be o of n time complexity and then uh, we also need to find the frequency for each of the character right so that would be um, again o of uh, since 26 is a constant number so that would be a constant value so that would be o of 1 and then uh, we also need the length right we are iterating over each of the length right so that would be the length of the string so what could so if m is the maximum length of the string so that would be m so the final uh, time complexity would be of n times m in this case so which is less than o of n times m log of m right so since this is the optimal one uh, we are going to use this solution to um this problem so let's now dive into coding so we are going to need a map and we are going to create the key out of the character count right so let's start doing that so let's create um our map first so map equals to an empty map so far and now um 
we need to iterate over each of the string in our strings array so for each of the string we need to find the count of each of the character right so let us define uh, an array count and now for each uh okay let us define it using array object and fill all the values with zero and this array object will be of size 26 so now for each of the character of our strings array i mean not our string we will update the character count at the position where of our character so that is we are going to check um c dot okay um character code at so we are taking the ascii value of our character and then we subtract the ascii value of zero okay so this will give the index of in our character uh, in our array so for character a the index would be zero for character b the index would be one and so on so for that index we are going to update the count of that character at that position now that we have the character counts what we need to do is now create create our key right so for that let's define our key which will be our string and then starting from the first character okay uh, let i equals to zero i is less than uh, count the trend which is a constant value that is equals to 26 and then i plus plus and then what we are going to do is we are going to append to our key the hash value first and plus the count of the character at that index so count i and now what are we going to do is um so once we create our character count we uh, our key our key is now ready so now we need to check if the map already has the key so if if map has the value key then what we need to do is okay before that let's create our array as empty array where we will group our key if that's the case if we have our map already with the key value then we are just going to assign the value of array to be equals to the um, group and then to that group we will be pushing our current string as if not we 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 are we just created a new array and then we push the new um um new string uh, i mean string to our new array and then finally we update the key map with our updated array so this is how we do and then finally to return what we are going to do is we are going to return the values right so what we do is we do object dot values dot uh, values of the map and then that is what we return now let's try to run our code and see if we find we get any errors awesome now let's submit our code that's even great so yeah as i already told the time complexity would be o of n for because we are iterating over all of the strings and o of m because we are it, uh, also iterating over each of the character in the string right and this will be a constant time complexity because count the count array is of a uh, constant length which is equals to 26 so that's why this time complexity is of n times m and the space complexity is um o of n because we are creating a new map here Hope you like this solution please uh, comment down uh, any feedbacks that you have for me thank you